Snow White and her friends, after traveling in the sky, discovered the Ice Queen's palace. Snow White helped the Queen achieve her dream of becoming a rainbow. Back home in the forest, the seven dwarves continue to protect their beloved Snow White from any dangers that may be lurking. Jolly a lesson. Maybe he'll learn to be more tidy. What do you think, Woody? Mm hmm. Oh, they're gone. It's strange, boss. I can't find the three spoons I used for my experiments. I really don't know where they could be. I lost three of my best dishes last week. They disappeared completely. Strange, all those disappearing objects. Three? Huh? Three, eh? It's always three. What a strange coincidence. Very strange indeed. They disappeared. No, 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 no. Say thank you, Jolly. Bet thank you for replacing me at the vine today. Thank you. I'll never forget that you did this for me. It's all right, Jolly. Don't worry. I'm happy to help you out. Let's go to work. Have a good day at work, my friends. Goodbye, Snow White. Oh. Listen carefully, you guys. Milk? You stay in the hut. Pocket, you stay in the house. And Cuckoo, keep your eyes open and guard Ooh. the garden. If you guys happen to smell something unusual, make sure you let me know right away, okay? What are you talking about? It's a secret. <laughs> I wonder what he meant. Cuckoo, go and fetch Jolly and the others. It'll be lunchtime soon. Milk, calm down. What are you doing, huh? <coughs> what is it? What do you want? What in the world? <coughs> ah! oh! Living on loans? What does that mean, boss? Can you explain? When I was young, a long time ago, I lost my gloves. I spent the whole day searching for them because they meant a lot to me, but unfortunately, I didn't find them. It was strange because I've always been very careful with my things. Well, you won't believe me, but the next morning when I woke up, what did I see on my pillow? My gloves, washed and ironed, good as new. What does that have to do with people who live on loans? I don't know, but someone told me that these strange beings have the habit of borrowing other people's objects and returning them once they don't need them any longer. Excuse me, but who are you? Wait, but I'm not going to hurt you. Hey, what are you doing? Milk, you stop that now. Are 
Are you all right, Charlie? Are you hurt? No, but I thought I saw... Good, that's enough. Now let's go home and have some lunch, okay? Yes, I wanted to ask you something, Snow White. Uh, I'm sorry, what is it? Didn't you notice something strange a little while ago? Uh, no, I don't know what you mean. Fine. I'm going to continue my investigation. Wait, wait. I'll see wait, you later. Wait, 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 wait. I wonder if that little girl was able to get away. Uh, uh, no, don't run away. That's a thank you gift for you. Oh, thank you. Would you like to have some lunch? Aren't you hungry? You don't have to be shy about it. Uh, all right. If you insist, I can't refuse. <sighs> Is it good? Do you like it? Sure, it's not too bad. <laughs> well, thank you. What's your name, by the way? You didn't tell me yet. I am Princess Snow White, but you can just call me Snow White. A princess? What are you doing here in the middle of the forest? It's a long story. Hmm? My name is Kathy. Everybody usually calls my family the people that live on loans. Oh, really? But why? During our trips, we borrow the things we need from the house we're staying in. Well, that sounds like stealing. But we're not thieves. We always return everything we take. You know, we were robbed. Robbed by some kind of strange, invisible thieves. Explain to me why you took that towel. Isn't it a little too big for you? The size doesn't matter. I want you to know that I'm not a thief. I'm gonna return it. You see, normally I wrap myself in a big blanket to keep warm at night. But lately, with the summer coming, it gets way too hot under there. <laughs> I think the towel would be a better choice. Oh. Yes. Oh, I gotta go. Wait, where are you going? Will I see uh, you again? Uh, Webby, goodbye. Poor dear. Nothing strange happened while we were away, right? Uh, no. Are you still looking exactly. for your things? Jolly, if you only told us what you lost, maybe we could help you. It's a secret. Yeah, I don't think Jolly even knows the meaning of the word tidy. This time, I'm sure I've been robbed. Maybe his boss suggested the people that live on Lowe's took them. I don't believe in any such people. Yes, they are strange beings that live using other people's things. Thieves who always return what they borrow. Uh, you see, I was right. My things did disappear. If I ever find those thieves, I don't know what I'll do. If I ever find those thieves, I don't know what I'll do. But we're not thieves. We always return everything we take. <sighs> I'm bringing everything back. Uh, hi, Kathy. Shh. Oh. I didn't want you to think bad things about me, so I brought everything back. Look, I found this in the staircase. It suits me, don't you think? Oh, so that's Charlie's treasure. I used all these things for a day. And now I'm returning them. Look, Kathy, what about this? Oh. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> this is the first time I ever trusted a human. And I'm glad I made a new friend that I can talk to around here. <laughs> you know, Snow White, I was thinking, huh? Huh? Uh, 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 this is Kathy, my new friend. Ah, uh, that's my treasure! You're the thief! How dare you! Uh, <laughs> 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 
Dishes have returned. Oh, the shoes I threw away. Look, there are my spoons. Peter, what are we gonna do? to return everything. Please forgive us. Spare my wife and child. They're innocent. I swear to you. Don't worry. We have no intention of harming you. Hmm. So these must be the people Boss was telling us about. A long time ago, our clan lived peacefully in a beautiful region. But one day, the war between human beings started. Our houses were burnt. Our family lost everything we had in the world, except each other. We had absolutely no choice. We were forced to leave our village. But we promised the other villagers that one day we would all meet again. A war, you say? Well, I had no idea there was a war. I found this interesting little walnut on the other side of the hill. And this is a seven-color leaf I found there. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I also picked this tiny fruit. Here, you can have it. Oh, Jolly, it's so pretty. Oh, uh, don't give it a second thought. There are plenty around here. Oh, I wish I could see them. Well, let's just go out and see them. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but... And we will join you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, let's go, Kathy. Let's go! You'll see. The valley is close by. Okay, then let's get going. <laughs> Jolly, wait for us. Don't be a slow poke, Snow White. Don't run ahead. Wait for us, Jolly. <laughs> Can I ask you something, Kathy? Why do they call you the Little Pot Family? My parents always told me my grandfather lived in a town called Little Pot. Oh. My uncle is Little Door, and my aunt is Little Cup. <laughs> That's so funny. Is it? <laughs> oh! A flock of birds! <gasps> Yay! <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Let's go! 
and Kathy. Hurry up, boy. Jolly! Snow White! Jolly! <laughs> Mav! Snow White, here I am! Hi, Kathy. Where's Jolly? How'd you like a few walnuts with your tea? Oh. <laughs> you joker. <laughs> Kathy, do you take sugar in your tea? Give it to me, I'll do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our daughter hasn't laughed like that in years. Indeed. Here you go. Mm. What a nice smell. I hope that wherever we go, there will be nice valleys like this one. Thank you for a wonderful day, Snow White. I have to go now. Why? Where do you have to go? When a flock of birds crosses the sky, we have to go. Uh? Well, why couldn't you just stay here forever? That's not possible. Kathy, I promise that we'll protect you. No, I wouldn't want that sort of life. I wouldn't want to hide. My father always says the world we live in is far too dangerous. But since I've met you and the seven dwarves, I now know that kind and generous people exist. I can look to the future with hope now. I never thought that would be possible. Thank you for that, Snow White. Oh, Kathy. Thank you. Yes, maybe beyond this forest, there are people just as wonderful. Thank you all for your kindness and generosity. Snow White? Hmm? I hope we'll see each other again. Please take care of yourself. I'll never forget you, Princess. Neither will I. Kathy, this is for you. Kathy and her parents, confident and hopeful, leave for a trip full of surprises. And Snow White, admiring the courage and willpower of her three strange friends, hopes that one day she will also be able to live without having to hide. <laughs>